really don't want to get out of bed right now, but it's time to be productive. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my weekend morning routine because what I do on the weekends is way different from what I do during the week because usually on the weekends I'm off work. Obviously Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday but usually I get every Saturday off. I did have to work last Saturday but that was because I requested one of the days off throughout the week but other than that I've been getting every Saturday off for like a couple of months now and also I don't even remember the last time that I filmed a morning routine on my channel so I just thought that this would be fun. So please do not mind my messy room in the background. I really need to clean my bedroom so bad. I'm not even kidding you guys. I have so many clothes over there that I just need to wash. And I also have all of these clothes over here that I need to wash. Maybe I'll do that in this video since I'm trying to be productive right now. Yeah, anyways, right now I'm just drinking my water because every single morning I like to drink a full one of these. And this is 21 ounces and I usually drink like two or three of these every single day. I know that's not really enough water, but I've definitely been drinking so much much more water lately. I either drink out of this one, which is actually my mom's, my pink one that I have that is just like this one, or I use my coldest water bottle, which is actually back there on my desk. I don't think you guys can see it though. Okay, so it's a little while later now. I finished drinking all of my water and I think now I am going to take a shower. I really need to take a shower and wash my hair and then get ready and like do my makeup because I actually have a hair appointment later. I'm just getting my hair cut because it is getting so long. I don't even think you guys can tell because it's in a ponytail. Yeah, I feel like you guys cannot tell at all just because it's in a ponytail, but I promise you guys it is getting so freaking long and it's just getting really hard to manage in the morning and everything. So I'm getting my hair cut today at 2.30 and this video is a morning routine. So you guys probably won't even see my hair in this video, but honestly, it will probably look the same, just a little bit shorter. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go shower now and I will update you guys after. Okay guys, so I just got out of the shower and I'm getting ready to do my hair, but I'm not going to show you guys me doing my hair just because I am going to be filming my hair care routine like very, very soon. Like probably here in the next week, I'll be filming it. So yeah, I'm going to do my hair and also I am currently watching Lauren Doan. She is literally one of my favorite YouTubers ever. And whenever I do my hair and my makeup in the mornings, I'm always watching her for some reason. She's just like so productive and she just makes me want to be productive. So yeah, I'm going to do my hair and I'm going to watch Lauren's video and I will update you guys after. Okay guys, so I did my hair and now I'm going to eat breakfast and then I also really want to do some of this laundry that's right here. It's honestly not even breakfast time anymore. It's almost 11:30 now and I don't have to be at my hair appointment for like another three hours. But first I'm going to tackle all of this laundry that's in here. Like I literally have so much to do. Like it's not even funny. Yes, I do have some hot Cheetos over there. Do not judge me. <laughs> show you guys how I've been making my iced coffee every single morning. Well, not every single morning. Like the days that I don't go to Starbucks, I will make my own iced coffee at home. And this is exactly what I will do. So I'm going to show you guys right now. So step one, I just pour in my iced coffee and this is just the Starbucks dark roast. Also, I'm sorry that this angle is not the best right now, but we're just going to have to work with it. And I don't pour it like all the way to the top either. I think like right there is good. And then I just pour in my creamer and I just use this non 
Brown Dairy Creamer Almond and Oat Milk and it's Caramel Macchiato and it's from Starbucks. And I used it a couple of days ago for the first time and let me tell you, it is so good and it did not even make my stomach hurt at all. So then I just pour in some creamer and yes, I kind of go a little overboard with the creamer. Okay, then what I do next is I take like an empty clean cup and I take this half and half and this is just the great value kind and I just pour like a little bit into this cup and then I just take this vanilla syrup it's just a skinny syrup and I just pour like a little bit in here think that's probably good and then my mom actually bought this mixer hold on let me go get it so this is what it looks like it's just a power licks mixer and basically I'm just gonna be making my own cold foam so let's go ahead and do it I've been seeing so many people do this on TikTok, by the way, and I think my mom has too, and that's why she got this little mixer. I used this the other day for the first time, and oh my gosh, I love the cold foam on top of my coffee. It just like made it extra good, and it really doesn't take that long to mix either. Definitely less than a minute, and you just gotta make sure you're going up and down in like circular motion. You just gotta do it until it gets thicker. Okay, so it's definitely thick, and now it's time to pour it in. Actually, wait, I wanna show you guys like in a better angle. So this is what the cold foam looks like, and a lot of people get cold foam on their drinks at Starbucks. So yeah, let's go ahead and pour it now. And then the very last thing that I like to do is I just take this Smucker's caramel syrup and I just drizzle it over the top of my coffee. Okay, so this is what my finished coffee looks like. I haven't even mixed it up yet just because I wanted to show you guys like the aestheticness of it. Like I told you guys that creamer has oat milk and almond milk both in it and I feel like I can really taste the oat milk. Okay guys, so I just got a chocolate rice cake for breakfast because that coffee is going to fill me up. So I'm just going to eat this and do my makeup and watch some YouTube. Okay guys, so I finished doing my makeup like 20 minutes ago or so and I've just been sitting here reading my Bible because I've been trying to read my Bible more and then I also finished my coffee as well and let me tell you, it was so freaking good. But yeah, this is my Bible. I actually have a smaller one that I take to church with me every Sunday but this one is like my bigger one and it just has my name on it and I really like this one a lot better. I just take my other one that I have that's like a lot smaller to church with me just because it's smaller and it's more compact for me to like carry around with me. I don't even know how long I've had this Bible, but I do know that it was given to me as a gift. And no, I have not read all of this already. I just read like different verses and stuff every single day. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna sit here and read my Bible for a little bit longer and then I am going to end the video probably because I have to go to my hair appointment in like a couple of hours and it's literally not even morning anymore. It's like noon. <laughs> Okay guys, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here because like I said, it is no longer morning. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I do usually on a productive morning. Obviously it varies, but this morning I had to do laundry and after I end this video, I'm gonna go switch over my laundry and then I'm gonna fold it. But yeah, anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this productive weekend morning routine and if you guys did, then definitely give it a thumbs up for me and also subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications. That way you guys will never miss a post from me and yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. So now we're going to your bedroom. Don't you think we're moving too soon? I love to hear you when you complain.